Hi guys, welcome back to Karina's Kitchen and today we're going to be making jalapeños rellenos and I hope that you like this video and give it a thumbs up, comment down below and let's get started. And now I'm just cleaning out the jalapeños, making sure that all the seeds are removed making sure that my jalapeno is clean from the inside and for that I'm using a knife I'm scraping everything out and this is optional you really don't have to do this but if you want to avoid um, your jalapeno being spicy I recommend for you to do this and I'm just gonna start doing this with all the jalapenos and we're just gonna remove it all, make sure that it's clean. So now that we're almost done with the rest of the jalapenos, uh, we're gonna let them dry and we're gonna turn on our skillet. Uh, you can use your stove, a grill, and we're gonna basically toast them uh, till they're fully cooked. So now that the jalapenos are clean and dry, I'm going to toast them on the grill. I'm going to show you guys what they're supposed to look like when they're ready. I'm also going to be using a napkin. Uh, I'm going to place a napkin inside my plastic bag where I'm going to place my jalapenos. The jalapenos actually sweat, so those napkins are going to absorb all that water. So my jalapenos are done. I've been using this uh, pan to press down so they can cook faster. Um, a friend of mine showed me that trick. Uh, so as you can see, they're done. They're not dark green, they're light green and they're soft. And we're just gonna put all of these inside of a bag. We're gonna add more napkins just to be on the safe side. And we're just gonna let these jalapenos sit overnight. You can let them sit for four hours and then um, use them, but I'm just gonna let them sit overnight. So we're back. It's been sitting for 24 hours. So now we're just gonna peel the skin off and we're gonna repeat this to all of them till we're done. Place a slice of cheese into each jalapeno if the cheese is too big just trim it down coat it with some flour I'm using Monterrey cheese but you can use any other type of cheese it doesn't matter it's your taste uh, just do the same thing over and over again till you're done so now we're gonna make our tomato sauce. We're gonna add three tomatoes, half an onion, two garlic cloves, and now we're gonna let it boil. We're gonna take it out and we're gonna let it sit till it cools down. We're gonna make our sauce now. And we're gonna add salt. Um, add how much you I, it, I think this is like a tablespoon that I added add some pepper add a little pinch of oregano just a little pinch and also add a little pinch of comino And one fourth of a cup of water and now you can blend it you're gonna be tasting your salsa making sure that's how you like it I'm gonna add half a um, culantro 
is a uh, Goya uh, brand. Now is done. So now we're going to prepare the egg batter and we're going to be using seven eggs. Um, I'm just going to be using the egg whites right now and we're going to whip to is stiff and we're going to add some ingredients so it can have some flavor to it. So you're going to start off by putting a teaspoon of salt. Um, you're gonna be whipping on low and then you're gonna slowly but surely go high and you're gonna add two teaspoons of flour you're gonna start noticing that your batter is getting stiff so that's a good thing you're gonna add some cornstarch which that's a teaspoon And if you can tell, it's already stiff and it's already ready, so we can start making our chiles. Our... With one hand, hold the stem of the jalapeno, and then with the other hand, hold the fork, cover it with the egg batter, and lift it and put it in your frying pan. I'm going to do a close up, I just want you guys to see it from far away uh, so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So as you can see I already showed you the far away, now I'm going to show you the close up. So basically right here I'm picking it up and I'm putting it in the pan. Um, I recommend for you guys to pick it up from the stem and with the other hand use a fork and pick it up from the bottom. Um, first uh, cover it with some egg uh, batter and yeah you should be able to transfer it to your pan with no problems because remember your egg supposed to be stiff so it should have this consistency uh, for it not to fall out of your uh, jalapeno. So as you can see, they have came out pretty darn good. And I cannot express how it's really important for you to hold it with, you know, a fork. It's going to come a long way. So they're basically done. And now I'm gonna uh, serve myself with some rice and some tomato sauce on top of my uh, jalapeno rellenos. So I sound gringa. <laughs> um, but yeah. So now you can go ahead, you know, put some oil on top, uh, make sure that they're golden. You know, golden brown, not too brownish, but just like little gold. And they're ready, they're ready to be served. Thank you for watching, guys. So, I'm adding tomato sauce on top of my jalapenos, and I also made a cheese block, which is in the middle. Uh, I used the same cheese and the same egg batter. And I'm doing the same thing to my husband's plate. I hope that you enjoy this video, guys. Like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to comment down below if you like.